The Bissell Little Green Machine versus or compared to the Bissell Little Green Hydro Steam. The OG, the original versus the newer model. Let's see which one does better. So here I've got ketchup that I squirted and sprayed on the carpet. I rubbed it into the carpet and I let it sit for 48 hours. I'm just going to do a test and compare and then I'll kind of go over some of the specs and show you the differences on these machines. But first, let's see which one cleans better. I'm going to start here on this side here with the Hydro Steam and then on this side I'm going to do the little green machine and we'll see uh, how we do on each one. I've got a process that I really like to use when cleaning carpets with these little portable carpet cleaners. I like to spray it down with the water and cleaning solution. I like to scrub it, really agitate and get into that stain. And then I like to extract. So it's spray, scrub, extract, spray, scrub, extract. And I really just continue that process until I'm satisfied with how the carpet is coming clean. Funny enough, it took about 90 seconds for each of these until I was satisfied. Then I switched over to just the Hydro Steam and I switched over to the Narrow Path tool. It's the three inch tool. Now this one has a harder plastic piece in the center and it's also got more firm bristles. So this one I think agitates and scrubs the carpet a little bit better. Plus the steam comes out more directly into and onto the carpet. Again, right in that 90 second window for this one. I'll say they both did a really good job. However, interestingly enough, in my head, I imagined that the Hydro Steam would just blow away the Bissell Little Green Machine. Couple things of note here. The tools are a little bit different here. So here on this scrubbing head tool, these bristles are really soft. So they don't get as much agitation and they don't really work the carpet as good as the original. So these bristles are much more tough, they're harder, they're more firm. So I think that really helped when it came to actually scrubbing the stain out of the carpet. I will say when I get deep into it and I look really deep into the carpet and I pull some of the fibers apart, I can actually still see some red here on this side, but over here, I'm not seeing it the same or as much. So I think that the steam gets a little bit deeper into the carpet, helps loosen up that stain a little bit, but Honestly, they both did a really good job, and so I was a little bit surprised by that. So let's look at each machine a little bit more individually so you can just know a little bit more about them. So here, they both have two water reservoirs. So you've got a dirty water reservoir where everything gets collected, and then you've got a clean water reservoir. As far as kind of capacity, they're both going to be similar here. You're going to fill it up with hot water straight out of the tap. You just don't want to use boiling water. Then you're going to fill it up with cleaning solution and get it in place. A couple things of note on that, this container here, I do like the fact that it does stand up alone and then it does have directions here very clear on the back. If you're doing a small area or a large area, how much to fill it with water, how much to fill it with your cleaning solution. This container has that as well. You'll fill it with cleaning solution first up to this fill line. You'll fill it up with hot water to this fill line and then they both go back in place. The only thing that I have note here on this machine, a lot of people mentioned that it leaks. They've got this pool or puddle of water. What happens is if this straw here that's on the lid is not, or the cap is not there, if this straw is missing, water just leaks out of this head attachment. So there could be an issue with that. So I've got some troubleshooting videos on that if you're experiencing that but very similar as far as kind of how they work and all that good stuff. The dirty water reservoir. So you've got this one that pulls out here. This one's got a little flap here. It does have a rubber gasket, so that needs to be in place. They both stand up alone. The nice thing is, is on the hydro steam, this lid goes all the way back. The lid comes all the way off here, and now you can have uh, a nice wide area. So you discard your dirty water there, and then it's really easy to clean. This one here does not come apart as easy. Uh, I do not believe this bottom piece comes off. There's other models that it does, but on this model, it does not. So in order to rinse this one out, you have to pour water in the top, kind of shake it up and then dump it out. So cleaning out your dirty water reservoir is a little bit harder on this machine. The newer model cleanup is a lot easier. 
Um, this machine here is built a little bit more like some of their other newer models, like the Spot Clean. It's going to be quite a bit heavier, and I believe that's obviously because it's got more components to it. It's got to have more in it for the steam aspect to it, so it's quite a bit heavier than the little green machine. Not a ton heavier, but it's a little bit heavier as far as weight goes. The newer model, I do like the different head attachments that are built to come apart. So this cover comes off, and now you can actually clean in there a lot easier, get all that dirt, dust, and debris, and hair that inevitably gets in your vacuum head. That is something that you cannot do with this one. Now for cleanup, you're going to use the hydro uh, rinse tool on both of them. I've got an email out to Bissell on the Hydro Steam. Mine did not come with the Hydro Rinse Tool. There's other ways to clean the hose. You just get a bowl of water and stick the vacuum head in it to rinse out the hose. But there are uh, Hydro Rinse Tools that are supposed to come with this machine. I've got an email out to Bissell asking if I've missed it or if it just wasn't um, supposed to come with this machine or what the deal is, they should be emailing me back to let me know if I need to buy a new one or if it was supposed to come with it, in which case I assume that they'll send me a replacement. Bissell's always been really good when it comes to customer support. They're both nice and compact. I like how the hose wraps around it, keeping everything nice and neat. This one just does have another place for all of your tools and attachments to be in place. And that is a look at how these two machines compare to each other. Honestly, I was fairly impressed with how the Bissell Little Green Machine, the original, held up to the new Hydro Steam. I thought it was just kind of kind of blow it away. The, you know, kind of benefit to this one is the steam. Steam helps with other different things, getting deeper into some stains. And then I did like it because I'm able to use this on some other materials. I even cleaned a pair of shoes with that steam setting, so that's pretty cool. But hopefully that was helpful. That's kind of a comparison and how the two compete against each other when cleaning up a stain here. The Bissell Little Green Machine, again, very impressive. I do like both machines, but hopefully that was helpful.